through the COVID year, I took a year off away from my profession, which is uh, IT consulting. I've uh, been in it for 35 years. Um, it feels like an awful long time because it is. Um, and I had an opportunity come up to start up a business in our state, in New South Wales. Um, so I have a clean slate to, to basically open a business, a, an IT selling business sales business in New South Wales. My, my, my question is, I'm looking for specific types of salespeople, more mature people. And am, I, I'm, I suppose the question is, am I being too, too, um, is my list too long into, you know, qualifying these salespeople that I'm trying to bring into the business, you know, or, you know, what's my value because I'm so new into this? I've been a consultant for so long, but not been running the business, owning the business. So it's a, it's my, so my question is, is how do I present my value to the salespeople to bring them on to work in my environment? So it's a, it's, that's my question is how do I present my value to them to bring Don't. them in? So don't sell your value, sell the opportunity for them. Okay. Right. So you got to make it about them. What are the opportunities for them in the marketplace? Obviously, you're back in the game for a reason. Right. Because you see opportunity, right? Yep. So what you have to do is explain that opportunity to them. This is not okay. about selling them on you and your company. This is about helping them see what's possible by working with you in a market you see is growing, expanding, which of course IT is expanding and they'll get that. And as long as you lay out what you see the opportunity is and what the plan is to get there, that's all people want. They want a roadmap of clarity of how to achieve their goals. What they care about is them. They really don't care about you and your business. And it is, we're trying to incent salespeople and salespeople are what's their main driver? This stuff, money. Should I be dangling that in front of them? You know, the, the, the commission structure to them, you, you know, is that? Well, that, that's a component. Yes. They got, obviously they have to know how much they're going to make for sure. But I think I'll tell you, I've got a client of mine who's recently hired some salespeople for his business. And we've been talking for a while and I told him, you need to approach the sales market by letting them know your philosophy of how you sell. He's been using my approach and using that in the job descriptions to explain that he's a trust based company and he sells using trust based selling. Mm. And he explains my philosophy in the ad. And he says, if this resonates with you, if this approach is who you are, trust space, and I helped him write the ad, I can, we can talk about that separately. That got him 250, 250 people to respond within a couple of days saying, oh my wow. God, I love that approach. And they onboarded with him because of the approach. Money is sure, but that wasn't the main driver anymore. It was the yeah. approach itself. Okay, that's really interesting. Yeah, that's a... Not so, something I never even considered. So, no, that's fantastic. No worries. No, really you want to reach out and talk about privately how I did that. But that's, that's probably the way to go in this market now. People are looking for a way to approach the game in a different way. If you can do this, yeah. then you differentiate over anyone else in the market. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, right, Ari, that was awesome. Thank you. Really appreciate Take it. Take care. Good to see you. Take care.